I'm going to teach you today how to remove that Easy Viz watermark. What you're going to have to do is download the studio on your PC so you can get advanced settings. I'm going to go through that with you today. It will help you get this off. Plus, there's lots of other things you can do in that advanced studio. Look how beautiful that is without that darn watermark. You can also put your own watermark on here. I haven't figured out yet how to, or even if you can change fonts or size, but you can do placement of it wherever you want on your site. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that today too. So the first thing we're gonna to have to do is get your advanced settings loaded. And this is a man who can show you how to do it. I'll give a few tips along the way. So I'm just going to borrow his, and I will have a banner up with his information. The website www.ezvizlife.com. Into support and download. Download EasyViz PC Studio. Okay, now I couldn't find that download when I went there. So what I did is I just typed in to go to the easy viz um, website slash download and I was able to find it. If you load this and then go to support, you will find, and I'm gonna show this to you right now, how to do this. So you can just stop the video right now if you're a whiz and do it yourself. But I couldn't, I needed help. So we're gonna go back to him. Download EasyViz PC Studio software. Run as administrator. We can't see advanced settings here. Turn off the software. Right click on shortcut and select open file location. Open the config folder. Copy app config file. And pass to desktop. Open with notepad. Access again to the EasyViz website. Into Support and FAQs. Search Advanced Setting. Select How to visit the Advanced Setting of EasyViz Studio. Copy this. Past here. Save the file. And copy it into the config folder. Chose replace the file in the destination. Open software again. Click All Devices. Now we can see the advanced setting. Enter verification code first. Here device information. So thank you Turbo. So I'm going now to show you, because he doesn't do this, you go down to Image. And here you've got extra settings you can do, but you gotta just keep going now. We're gonna go on to the video display. You click that. If you look over here in this corner, you've got this show, Yingxi, 
Excuse me to all my Chinese friends if I've said that wrong. Unclick it, apply, and you're going to see it's gone. Now, if you want to change your own camera name, you can put it in there. Type in what you want. You hit your display camera name. And you're going to see this red box around your timestamp and your name up here. You just hover over that and you can move it anywhere you want. You can also move your date and timestamps. So there you go. You can have it as clean as you want. Here's back with the watermark. And then I'm going to show you if your own uh, watermark. So I hope you found some good information off of this for Turbo HDX. Thank you, sir, for letting me use your video.